Good morning viewers, hello and welcome to the morning news show where we bring you the latest headlines and insightful stories to kickstart your day. I am Kohina Sharma and you are watching CNN News 18. Well, Bihar is on the brink. Political intrigue is thicker than the fog over Patna. Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, the man of thousand U-turns, about to pull off the biggest one yet? Is he ditching the opposition and cozying up to the BJP? Well, we will untangle the Gordian knot of Bihar politics as Bihar's Chief Minister Nitish Kumar is likely to end the suspense over his next political move by resigning as the Bihar's Chief Minister today, returning to his old ally, NDA. Now, sources have informed CNN News 18 that all BJP MLAs will come to CM's residence and extend the letter of support will be handed over to Nitish Kumar. Now, after a joint NDA meeting, Nitish will be chosen as the leader of the NDA legislatures. After this, Sohas Nababu will head to the Raj Bhavan with the letter of support. Now, tender his resignation and stake claim for a new government. He will also sought time from the governor for the oath ceremony. Now, BJP chief JP Nadda is also likely to reach Patna today. Meanwhile, sources have also told CNN News 18 that Nitish Kumar is likely to address a meeting of JDU legislators around 10 a.m. before going to the Raj Bhavan to submit his resignation. We are keeping the attention. The party has not given up to Nitish Ji, nor has anyone taken up to the party. So, first of all, if there is a matter of fact, then there will be no knowledge. You are all seeing it. The party is not a party from the party. राजनीति का बड़ा स्पष्ट है कि आप क्या संदेश दे रहे हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी ये जानना चाहती है कि बिहार की स्थिति क्या है ये जानेंगे तब तो कोई डिसीजन नहीं Well, joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Saurabh, who has been tracking minute-by-minute minute updates from the ground. A very good morning, Saurabh. Let's try and understand the public perception of the new leader and the government. How is the public actually in Bihar reacting to Nitish Kumar's takeover as the leader of the NDA? Uh, public has the uh, still has the perception of uh, you know Sushashan Babu. Uh, uh, though although uh, uh, in two, uh, 2022 when when the alliance broke, uh, uh, you know the people of Bihar they were uh, uh, they were not satisfied with the decision of Nitish Kumar going with RJD because RJD has been uh, in the bad name and in the bad book uh, and uh, uh, there has been a, a you know tent uh, uh, within uh, RJD mm -hmm. when the name RJD comes uh, you know the perception of law and order situation comes. Uh, uh, many, uh, uh, in fact, scams comes uh, when you talk about Lalu Prasad and Tejshvi Yadav, Ravdi Devi, uh, various scams like uh, land for job scam, uh, Chara Ghotala and uh, such kind of scam comes in mind. And in fact, uh, the days of 1990s are remembered uh, when uh, there were kidnapping, murders, you know, extortion, uh, all, all, all the, uh, you name it and uh, all the crimes were happening in the state. So that kind of perception RJD had. But when uh, Tejashwi Yadav came into power, uh, uh, you know, in the last uh, 17 months, Months, he tried to improve the, uh, you know, uh, the the this whole uh, uh, episode of what uh, the projection of RJD was, and he tried to work for the people. He was trying uh, to, you know, give jobs, employment uh, to the people. Uh, but all of a sudden, uh, you know, this uh, decision which is taken by uh, JDU has brought them back to the square one. And uh, now, uh, as we are told uh, today, is a, a meeting at 10 m at JDU res uh, at JDU of JDU at uh, CM residence and after that uh, you know the BJP legislators who are going to meet at 9am at BJP headquarters they will move to CM resident hand over the letter of support to them to the chief minister and from there chief minister will go to governor house tender his resignation and uh, you know and, and uh, they have already sought time from governor uh, for the oath uh, what we are learning from our sources uh, and uh, when the uh, governor gives the time he will go and take the oath this is uh, the tentative plan of what we are learning from our sources from BJP and JDU. Kuhina. Right, so uh, I'll request you to stay with us on the broadcast. Well, joining us on the broadcast uh, is our senior correspondent, Payal. A very good morning, Payal. Well, let's try and understand the Congress's reaction to the change in leadership in Bihar. What is the official stance of the Congress party on Nitish Kumar becoming the leader of the NDA at this point of time in the political dynamics? 
Well, as far as uh, the Congress is concerned, obviously they have, so like Pandey is reporting that they've tried to reach out to Nitish Kumar, but has been of no avail as well. As far as the BJP is concerned, the BJP essentially understands that this is a very very important issue. That's exactly the point that they've tried to explain to their party leaders. Because remember, many within the BJP had also been of the opinion that there is no need for us to join hands with Nitish Kumar, who we had actually dumped at one stage and said that we will never come back uh, to the NDA fold. So obviously the BJP has been telling its leaders. But the important thing right now is to make sure that the future of the future of Bihar is not tampered with. Because if Nitish Kumar falls weak, or if he has to step down, then probably the reins will go to Lalu Prasad Yadav's RJD, and that could actually spell dooms for the people of Bihar. So that's the agenda. That's what they've been able to sense, and that's the reason uh, the the top leaders of the BJP are expected to be in Patna this afternoon. We're expecting BJP National President J.P. Nadda uh, to be in Patna this afternoon, also Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Uh, it's a very, very wait and uh, it's a very, very precarious situation because we have to just wait and see what really transpires. Because in politics, till it doesn't happen, it doesn't really happen. Because we've seen plenty of examples in the past right. where leaders have been all prepared to take oath, but you know something has gone wrong, and last minute there have been changes in politics. Till it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Right, Payal, since you closely track ND and BJP on the ground, I need to understand something on the basis of the joint uh, NDA meeting and Nitish Kumar's leadership. Can you explain the reasoning behind JDU and BJP deciding to hold separate meetings before coming together? Because, you know, obviously both the leader, both the parties will try to explain to the people what really is going to happen, what is the way forward. So that's the reason BJP will have its own meeting. They had a meeting last evening. They'll have another round of meeting today and after which they're going to have a meeting uh, jointly because that's where the NDA will come into fold. So it's not just the BJP and uh, the JDU, but probably multiple small other parties like, you know, Chirag Paswan's party, Pashupati Paras's party, mm. Upendra Kushwa amongst the others. So he obviously will be uh, having these meetings, you know, amongst themselves and then probably having a joint meeting before Nitish Kumar heads to the Raj Right. Uh, Payal, I'll request you to stay with us on the broadcast. Joining us on the broadcast are our two more senior correspondents, uh, Aman Sharma and Pallavi Ghosh. A very good morning, Pallavi. Well, does the Congress see this as an opportunity to gain ground in Bihar? No, well, I mean, if you're losing your government, I don't think it becomes an opportunity to gain ground in Bihar. Mm -hmm. I think they are very, very apprehensive. They are very wary. Uh, and though they are putting up a sense of bravado, which I certainly saw all of yesterday, uh, where they are having this confidence that, you know, nothing is going to happen to their government. But in private, they do concede that things are not looking very good. Uh, you know, if things were very good, I don't think they would have dashed off Bupesh Baghel. He's going to be in Patna and he's going to go to Purnia, where the Congress Legislative Party, which was scheduled to hold, yes, be held yesterday is going to be held today. Uh, I think the biggest challenge at this point of time and certainly that's going to be the task for Bhubesh Bagheel to ensure that there is no split in the party. Right. Of the 19 MLAs, only nine of them had turned up yesterday. That's going to be one big challenge for the Congress. The larger picture, of course, is the worry for the India front. If Nitish Kumar turns his back to the front, mm -hmm. then uh, practically speaking, it becomes non-existent. Mamta Banerjee makes it clear, no seat sharing talks. Nitish Kumar makes it clear, I don't want to be a part of the India front. Of course, the question will then be raised is where is the Congress and where is the India front? Right, Pallavi, I'll get back to you to understand the impact, the entire impact of this Bihar's political crisis on Congress national political strategy. But right now, we are going, cutting across to Aman. Aman, help us understand the national implication of this entire political shift in Bihar. How will this impact the upcoming Lok Sabha elections also? Uh, well, Kohina, see, the, whatever the BJP is doing here have, is with an eye on the Lok Sabha elections. If you look at 2019 Definitely. in Bihar, when the BJP alongside the JDU and the uh, LJP contested the elections together, they swept 39 out of the 40 seats in Bihar. Bihar is an important state as it, is, it has 40 Lok Sabha seats and the perception so far had been ahead of 2024 that Nitish Kumar along with the RJD is in a strong position in Bihar and it could pose a significant challenge to the BJP. BJP may not be able to repeat its performance of 2019 when it won uh, 16 seats. Uh, but what BJP has now done is to uh, not just enter this alliance along with the JDU. Obviously, they will share power with the JDU in Bihar. It's a body blow, as Pallavi was just mentioning, it's a body blow to the India alliance. You know, Nitish Kumar has been somebody who's brought together the India alliance. You know, we remember all these trips, the first meetings were done by Nitish Kumar. He got Mamta Banerjee on board. He got Arvind Kejriwal on board, two allies that didn't want to see, you know, eye to eye with the Congress. He's the one who did this almost a countrywide tour to build the India alliance. 
when such a key person who moves out and uh, of the india alliance and joins hands with the bjp mm-hmm. uh, it it de- deals a very very severe blow to the to the entire alliance uh, opposition alliance grouping and i think that will show in the coming days because if ritesh kumar is walking out uh, mamta banerjee is all, already has one foot outside the door arvind kejriwal is not interested in uh, fighting alongside the congress in a key state of punjab so what is left of the india alliance you know that is the perception that the bjp will build that look your your foremost ally the man who stitched together the india alliance nitesh kumar is walking out to us so what does this leave in the leadership of rahul gandhi what does it leave in the leadership of mr malikarjun kharge congress seems on a very very weak wicket as pallavi was just mentioning and i think uh, the, the numbers are also in the favor of the uh, new new permutations in bihar the number i was seeing so far about jdu has 45 bjp has 78 so they come to 123 uh which is one more than the uh, majority mark then you have one independent and four hgm members so right. the new new government will have almost 128 mlas in a very comfortable position uh, kohila right i mean clearly uh, the future looks grim for congress right now we'll uh, get back to saurabh who's getting us all the details from the ground saurabh help us understand how do you think this move will strengthen or weaken the government's hold on power especially with majoritarian view on the ground Uh, see, Koina, uh, 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 people of Bihar, they have been supporting Nitish Kumar right since, uh, you know, uh, 2005 and uh, the, the, the basis of voting is on the base of caste uh, mainly in Bihar and uh, this, uh, this combination of BJP and uh, JDU has been exp- uh, accepted uh, by the people because BJP particularly they target the uh, general uh, uh, category votes uh, as well as OBCs uh, uh, and EBCs, uh, uh, non-Yadav EBCs and non-Yadav OBCs whereas JDU targets you know uh, mainly uh, the Kur- uh, kurmi kushwaha which is called uh, love love kush uh, votes that is obcs and non yadav ebc votes uh, along with scs and women uh, are the main factor and main voters for jdu so this combination goes well with uh, uh, with the state and people are accepting because uh, there is a government at the center uh, which is of bjp and if uh, the ally is bjp in the state then people think that the development will take place more but when when you ally with rjd uh, there is a tag there is a perception against rjd uh, for a majority of people uh, if you leave uh, my calculation that is muslim yadav calculation most of the people they uh, have a perception of jungle raj court and court uh, so the people are afraid of uh, you know getting a, right, sort of, a majority I, government uh, of rjd in the state of bihar we getting a breaking input right now coming in from bihar let's cut across to this that well this breaking news is coming in from bihar where after rjd's advertisement on the work it has done for bjp jdu has hit back at rjd and tejasvi yadav suggesting that jdu has said that nitish kumar doesn't need to do such advertisements nitish work speaks for itself so these are the latest inputs that we've been getting in a big remark coming in from jdu let's take a look at neeraj kumar's reaction on this most probably nahi sarkar ka gathan hoga rajat kehte hain jara batae na excuse kya denge isko nahi माननीय नीतीश कुमार जी को एक्सक्यूज देने की जरूरत है कि नीतीश कुमार जी की प्रशंसा होती है नीतीश कुमार जी ने गवर्नेंस से कोई समझौता नहीं किया पीड़ा इस बात की है राष्ट्रीय जनता दल को कि नीतीश कुमार जी ने बड़े पैमाने पर नियुक्ति की और नियुक्ति में कोई घाल मेल नहीं हो पाया कोई पदस्थापन का खेल नहीं हो पाया जिसे राजस्व विभाग में करने की कोशिश की थी अंडर हैंड डीलिंग नहीं हुआ तो ये डीलिंग नहीं होगा तो हम राजनीति का डील करते हैं हम धन कमाने का डील नहीं करते हैं हमने रास्ता खोजा कि गवर्नेंस से कोई समझौता नहीं अगर करोगे तो रास्ता नापो मतलब छोड़ने का कारण आप कह रहे हैं करप्शन लोग कर रहे थे भाई राजस्व विभाग में क्या आया ये तो स्पष्ट हो गया ना और जिस ढंग की भाषा का इस्तेमाल इनके लोग कर रहे थे क्या राष्ट्रीय जनता दल ने कभी लगाम लगाया भाषाई अपसंस्कृति जिस ढंग से उभर रही थी धार्मिक ग्रंथों के ऊपर में विभिन्न सामाजिक समूहों के ऊपर में उसका क्या औचित्य था इसमें आपका क्या योगदान था कोई योगदान तो था नहीं इसलिए राष्ट्रीय जनता दल जो नए दौर में 
विकास पर दावा कर रहे विज्ञापन छपवा रहे अरे विज्ञापन नीतीश कुमार का काम बोलता है आपको विज्ञापन छपवाने की जरूरत पड़ गई और विज्ञापन में भी धोखा घड़ी राष्ट्रीय जनता दल और महागठबंधन परिवार लिखा कांग्रेस नहीं लिख सकते थे सीपीआई सीपीएम माले नहीं लिख सकते थे एक भव यह नहीं चलने दिया जाएगा Well, our senior colleagues uh, continue to stay with us on the broadcast. First, I'll, I'd like to go across to Pallavi. Pallavi, help us understand a statement coming in from Neeraj Kumar, one of the JDU members. How will this statement be perceived in the majoritarians' viewpoint at this point of time? See, Kuhina, I think the main battle in Bihar is largely going to be between BJ, uh, between uh, between the RJD and the JDU. Mm -hmm. And even as the government seems to be crumbling, both the sides are going to present themselves as a Sushasan Babu. Nitish right. Kumar, of course, the JDU will project Nitish Kumar as someone who is squeaky clean, above corruption. You can fault him for his paltu cha cha tag, but you cannot accuse him of a personal corruption. That's the imaging which JDU will always uh, want to project about Nitish Kumar. And you know, every distancing from RJD or a breakup will always be justified on the grounds as a complete intolerance about. What we think is going wrong. Yesterday, the summoning of uh, Rabri Devi and Amisa Bharti on 9th of February is going to be yet another attempt, which is going to be used by JDU to make the point. Look, we told you so. These people are not clean. On the other hand, the RJD, particularly Tejasvi Yadav, he will be projected as someone who is good, has provided a good administration, can provide a good administration. So while a government may be falling, there are days ahead. We have a future and life ahead. Both of them are looking at the Lok Sabha elections. Both of them are obviously going to be looking at 2024 Lok Sabha uh, Assembly elections. So even while they are parting, there is this match which is now taking place between the JDU and RJD to show who's more upright, who is going to uh, deliver a better promise of a better future uh, for Bihar. Right, Pallavi, thank you so much. Well, now we will move across to Payal to understand. Payal, help us understand what factors actually led to Nitish Kumar being chosen as the leader of the NDA legislators. Because we've given to understand that there was a meeting held with all the BJP members where the top brass has actually explained the reasons. Could you please break it down for us and the viewers? Yes, uh, there was in fact a meeting uh, which was held of BJP leaders yesterday because remember, many within the fold of the BJP have not been happy with this move. In fact, Giridhar Singh, Senior member of parliament and senior minister in the Modi government has in fact stayed away from this meeting because he's been a very, very open critic of, uh, of Nitish Kumar so far as well. Uh, now, given the fact that you are looking at the political situation in Bihar, the leaders who came down from Delhi were able to explain to the state leaders that this is a very, very important move given the fact that we have to look at securing the future of the people of Bihar. Uh, it is uh, a fact that uh, the BJP has been told that... Uh, uh, they are not. It's not that they are not confident of doing the elections on their own, or probably fighting local Lok Sabha elections on their own. Hmm. But they want to make sure that you know this is this is a foolproof government, and that's the reason they decided to go for it. And they've also said that you know it is important to understand that uh, instability is something which Bihar has faced over the last four years, and that cannot really continue anymore as well. And the most important reason which was told to the BJP legislators was this. It was told to them that yes, uh, you know, if Nitish Kumar falls weak or if he doesn't. Uh, if he's not able to hold on to the attack from the RJD, then probably you know, uh, the state will go to the to the rogues like the RJD. The RJD is said to be a party of corrupt, a party of dynasty, and they're going to ruin the state of Bihar, which is already reeling under various index, index, indices in which they've scored extremely poorly, whether it is, of course, uh, uh, welfare of the people or whether it is development as well. So that's the reason it's being given. Mm -hmm. But most interestingly, that many leaders wanted to know from the BJP poll as to who is becoming the deputy chief ministers, to which they've been told that only the top leaders will come down and make that announcement. Right, Payal. I'd like to bring Aman also into the conversation. Aman, help us understand, does this entire move in Bihar signal a potential, potential weakening of the BJP's uh, dominance in, at national level? Uh, well, no, Koina. It will, I think, work uh, op uh, almost the opposite. See, mm -hmm. uh, first a bit about Nitish Kumar. See, Nitish Kumar will, if he resigns today and becomes the CM again, this will be the ninth time that he becomes the chief minister. It will be his fourth party. Uh, in the last 10 years. So Nitish Kumar always finds a, you know, a convenient uh, excuse to dump his partner in 2013. It was secularism. 2017, he dumped the RJP over the issue of corruption. Uh, 2022, he dumped the BJP over the issue of that BJP was trying to sabotage his party. And now uh, Nitish Kumar is citing uh, an insult 
by the Congress to uh, step out of the uh, Mahagad Bandar. Uh, for the BJP, see, this is uh, also something that, you know, we uh, have been hearing that some BJP leaders, as Payal was just hinting to, are not very happy about joining hands with Nitish again. BJP feels that it has put in a lot of effort in Bihar. It is the party to beat in Bihar. So why should we ally again with somebody like Nitish Kumar? And moreover, why should we make Nitish Kumar again the chief minister? Why not a BJP chief minister? You know, some BJP leaders have been voicing this also in private quarters. That why are we making Nitish Kumar again the chief minister? We should insist upon a chief minister from the BJP. On the other hand, the larger view in the BJP also is that, okay, we may have to live with Nitish Kumar as the chief minister, but look at the larger picture. You know, if we break away a key India ally at this stage, if the alliance falls in uh, Bihar, the India alliance basically has no legs to stand on. Already in UP, there is not, the alliance is not reaching anywhere. In West Bengal, it's collapsed. In Punjab, it's collapsed. It's not making any headway anywhere. So looking at a larger picture of 2024 elections, I think this alliance with uh, Nitish Kumar is a shot in the arm for the BJP. It solves their Bihar problems because so far the BJP thought that Bihar would be one tricky state, you know, with RJD and JDU in, in, in a combination against them. They were not very sure of repeating the performance of 2019 when the NDA could sweep 39 out of the 40 seats. So I think they are looking at that larger picture. They are thinking and JDU and BJP, Kohina, are a very, very potent combination as Saurabh was hinting earlier. The right. vote bank, if the, when these two parties ally, it becomes a very, very potent combination. And for Lok Sabha, I think uh, this alliance will be very, very strong now. And RJD will have a difficult time. Last time in 2019, for example, Kohina, RJD could not win even a single Lok Sabha seat when the JDU and BJP and the LJP contested uh, together right. as an alliance. Right. Thank you so much, Aman. And I'd like to thank my all other senior colleagues who've joined us on the broadcast and given us a deeper diver, uh, perspective of the entire political situation and turmoil in Bihar. Well, before we leave, we'll uh, take a look at some of the political reactions that we've been getting on this story. Do you think today Nitish Kumar is going to resign tomorrow? The government in Bihar will be of BJP and JDU. Is it happening like that? If it is happening, it should be good, good for the state, I think. And anything good for the state is welcome for us. What is the what are the agendas uh, that will be, that will? Be well, I don't know. Please tell us what is the agenda. If there is any agenda, let's let's find out. We are out. learning that letter of support will be given today itself. To, well, it's, to the chief it's a big development in Bihar. I am sure it should be for the good of Bihar. Are you uh, are you happy that uh, uh, again the government of British and Well, I do not know. If something like this happens, then I'll give you a, a feedback on that or a response on that. Thank you so much. हम सब ये जानना चाह रहे हैं कि बिहार में काबा बिल्कुल थोड़ी देर में पता चलेगा नो जी बिहार में जो पॉलिटिक्स है इस टाइम चरम पर चल रही है क्या लगता है एक बार फिर एनडीए का हाथ थामेंगे नीतीश कुमार मुझे एक्जेक्टली मैं कुछ नहीं कहना चाहता अभी लेकिन मैं चाहता हूं कि ऐसा हो मैं पर्सनली मनोज तिवारी क्योंकि हम तो जनादेश बिहार का क्या था नरेंद्र मोदी नीतीश जी के साथ निभावा ये भैया अपने बिहार के विकास के पथ पे दौड़ावा ये भैया तो हम गाते भी थे कहते भी थे और यही जनादेश था तो जंगल राज वालों के साथ जाकर के तो नीतीश जी को ये महसूस हो चुका है आज क्यों जंगल राज वाले वो मुख्यमंत्री का भी आदर नहीं कर सकते सो क्या होगा क्या हो रहा है ये तो मुझे नहीं पता बट ऐसा होना चाहिए ये मेरा मन कह रहा है को, कोई कोई जानकारी नहीं है क्योंकि अभी देखो अभी तो हम आए हैं और जिस तरह से न्यूज में ही जो चल रहा है सो चल रहा है अभी तो कोई आधिकारिक किसी के तरफ से कोई बयान नहीं है देखिए जब भी हम लोग सरकार में आते हैं राष्ट्रीय जनता दल बिहार के जनता के लिए और काम करते हैं और आगे भी करते रहेंगे So who won the day, the politicians or the people? We'll have to wait and see. But remember, in the Game of Thrones Bihar edition, the only constant right now is the ever-folding drama. With that, it's a wrap. News and updates continue on CNN News 18. Stay informed, stay tuned and thanks for watching.